Hey guys, how you doing? This is Benjamin with Benjamin's Exotics, and uh, really quickly, I had some comments on uh, one of my videos when I was talking about some leopard geckos, and some people were asking uh, how I had the heat set up with uh, those guys. So, I thought I'd do a quick video on how to use a thermostat like this. This is just your basic pick it up at the store. Uh, I actually got this one for free, but it's just a Zillow thermostat. And I'll explain it to you really quickly how this works and how we're going to set this guy up. So, it looks like a big mess, but it's actually very simple. We have three main things we have here. We have our heat source. Just this basic heat mat, which is the heat source. We have the thermometer. Or, what am I saying? We have the thermostat. And then... To double verify that all our temperatures are being judged correctly from the thermostat, we have a thermometer, digital thermometer. Now, you can see um, this changes or this um, rechecks the temperature every about five seconds. So every five seconds or so, you'll see this change. So, uh, and you can see the temperature is actually going down if we let it load, as you can see. So, um, really quickly, I'm going to explain to you guys how we're going to use this okay it's very simple they have instructions the thing but for anybody that wanted to know very simple here's how we're going to do it first thing that gets plugged into the wall is your thermostat okay you can see the thermostat has this cord right here and that cord goes all the way back and you can't see because the camera's amazing <laughs> you can't see because of the camera uh in the lighting but um, it goes back there and it gets plugged directly into the wall okay and it just turned the heat back on we'll talk about that in a minute next you have your plug right here I would not plug more than maybe one or two things like I would not plug three things into this even though you could I personally wouldn't do it but uh, your heat source is going to get plugged into your thermostat so your thermostat can regulate it now on the thermostat we have a probe. Okay, I don't want the, these cords to confuse you too much. On the thermostat, we then have a probe. And this probe is going to go straight to the heat pad. The probe has to be making intimate contact, or it has to be touching this heat pad directly. Okay? I've seen other people do it with success, but I'm telling you guys right now. This is what I'm going to tell you and advise you to do. You have. Okay, let me just say this. I don't, how do I say this? If it's not touching the heat pad, how it can't measure the heat. Okay? If this is even the smallest bit away from the heat pad, it can't measure it. And what will happen is your thermostat will say, Oh my gosh, you know, the, the, the heat pad isn't at the right temperature. And it will just keep kicking up the power and kicking up the power because this is just reading the air temperature then because it's not touching this big probe right here. And you will overheat and burn your snakes, okay? Uh, so you, you, the probe has to be touching the heat source. Okay, that's number one. Uh, number two, uh, when we're looking at a thermostat like this, if you get it from a pet store, these thermostats are okay. They work, um, but they're not 100% accurate. I can show you an example uh, right here. This guy is actually doing pretty good right now. Um, and ju just like a thermostat, if we want to measure the actual um, heat on this guy, we're going to want to have the probe making intimate contact with the heat source. So, if we put the heat pad back down and we look at our thermometer, thermometer is reading uh, 101.3 degrees Fahrenheit. Just went down to 100 something. And if we look on here, this is just around 100. Do not be fooled by this, though. These things have been known to be 8 degrees off before. You really need to have a thermometer that is going to be able to adjust and to be able to tell you what the actual heat is on this thing. You really want a digital thermometer. The other thermometers are okay, but again, uh, these guys are really cheap to pick up. 8 bucks, maybe, um, and it's v really worth it if you're going to be doing something like this. Now, this looks like a lot, but... Honestly, it isn't. Probe goes from here, making intimate contact, which means it's touching directly this heat pad. And I can feel the heat pad warming up right now. And then this probe from our digital thermometer is going to get taped on to our 
heat pad. If it's not touching the heat pad, this thermometer reading will be wrong of what the temperature is. Now, we're going to explain these little lights right here. When this says heat source, what it actually means is that it's heating up. It means that the temperature it's set at is not being reached from the pro. Watch what happens if I turn it down. Heat source turns off. Okay, because I just turned it from 100 to about 95, okay? So now it's saying, okay, well, the heat source is above what it's set to be, so it's not going to heat it up anymore. It turns it off. This doesn't regulate. This turns it on and off. If it gets below the temperature we've set, it's going to turn it on. If it gets about 3 or 4 degrees below the temperature, it's going to turn it back on that we've set. If it gets over the temperature we've set, it's going to turn it back off. So now if I move this back forward and I hit just about, mm, it's probably about 90 some degrees, it's now going to go back and now it's going to start heating up again. And this will turn on and off, on and off and stuff like that. But uh, if you're going to do a setup like this for your leopard gecko, ball python or anything, I really advise getting something like this. Uh, these are pretty accurate most of the time. And while these work, uh, they're not always 100% accurate all the time, okay? So, uh, if you guys are looking to get a leopard gecko or anything, you could just run a heat pad, uh, unregulated, but in my opinion, I wouldn't do it, uh, just for the simple fact that I would never want to burn my animals. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, really simple takeaways from the video. I, I showed you guys how everything plugs in, it's a really simple process, and it works the same with basically all thermostats but the main takeaway has is very simple I don't want any one of the animals getting burned mine have got burned before by lights by heat I've done a lot of stuff wrong you know before and I've learned from it <laughs> hopefully I you know I'm telling you guys uh, my experience right now but the probe has to be in 99.99999% of the cases touching the heat source to get an accurate reading it's like, and also, these right here, like I said, they're okay, but they're not always 100% accurate. They can be, you know, 4 to 5 degrees off sometimes. As you can see, this is aiming under 100 degrees, and the heat pad reads over 100 degrees. So, we're off about 3 or 4 degrees, which is not too bad. And it's going back down, because as you can see, the heat light turned back off, because the selected temperature, it's over the selected temperature, so it's going to turn the power off. This turns the power on and off. It does nothing besides that. If you guys want to, check out the Zilla um, thermostat. Works great. I've been using it on animals for a very long time. This video went on a little bit longer than I wanted to. But remember, the probe has to be touching the heat source, making intimate contact. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.